Hey guys, what's going on? It's Massive Joe's World Review and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com! Representing my boys at Gentech, in particular my man Nick Jones, man owner of Gentech, Adelaide boy, now lives in Sydney, but Adelaide, start off with, gonna be raw reviewing the newest Gentech product to hit the market. In fact, hit the market today, the 19th of April 2013. This video going up the 19th of April 2013, we do not mess around at Massive Joe's. Straight to the raw review. It's the all new Gentech casein protein custard, man. Casein custard. Let's get straight into it, show you what's in it. Of course, Gentech always put their customers first, tell you exactly what's in it. So in 100 grams, in terms of 100 grams, let's go 100 grams, keep it simple for everyone. 100 grams, you got yourself about 70 grams of protein, about four grams of fat, about 20 grams of carb, of which about eight to 10 is sugar, depending on the flavor. In terms of what's in it, it's actually calcium caseinate, some skim milk powder, the artificial colors and flavors, and some colostrum. So Gentech put colostrum in all of their protein powders. Helps with digestion a little bit. Um, apart from that, don't really know what else it does. But colostrum in there too. So that's exactly what's in it. In terms of how it tastes, how it mixes. Look, two ways you can take this product. You can take it as a custard, as it says, casein custard, or you can take it as a protein shake. I prefer to take it as a custard. So here's what you're gonna do to make it up as a custard. You're gonna take a tub, and open that thing up. I'm gonna grab yourself three scoops of this stuff. Three scoops, scoop look like that. You're gonna put three scoops into your Massive Joe shaker. Look like that. Then you're gonna add 200 mils of water. No more than 200 mils of water with three scoops. So it's about 100 mils to every one and a half scoop if you wanted to do less or more scoops or whatever. Shake it up. Now, as you shake this stuff, it's gonna get thicker. So I like to shake it for about a minute and it thickens up real nice, right? And this is to make the custard. So shake, 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 and thicken up real nice. Then you go, open your shaker, pour it in a nice glass, chuck a spoon in there, got yourself some delicious casein custard. This is a banana flavor. Banana flavor is off the chain. Banana flavor is ridiculous. The banana flavor, hold on a sec, I almost forgot my zoomed camera flavor introductions. It comes in chocolate, it comes in banana. The banana is off the chain, man. Gentech have got these flavors down to a point, let me tell you. Banana tastes like banana yogo custard. The chocolate, it tastes like the chocolate yogo custard. Delicious. The thickness is beautiful, mixes up completely clump free. Like I said, you can drink it as well. If you want to drink it, just add more water. Still going to mix up clump free, shake it for about a minute once again, and you can drink it. I prefer to eat it, and eating it is just delicious. Clump free, banana's ridiculous, chocolate's ridiculous. In terms of the effects, now let me be, be honest. Let me be, 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 be honest with the viewers at home. It's not a micellar casein casein. For all y'all that don't know what that means, two types of casein protein you can, you can derive from milk. You can derive calcium caseinate, you can derive micellar casein. Micellar casein is a type of casein, what it does is it bonds together, the peptides bond together in your stomach like this, right? And they form what we call these micelles. That's why it's called micellar casein. The micelles can only be attacked by the digestive pro protein digestive enzymes from the outside. So, the bigger the micelle, the longer it takes to digest. So micellar casein takes between six to eight hours to fully digest. The other type of casein, your calcium caseinate, doesn't form micelles. So although the peptides are still quite big, they don't bond together like this. So you've just got bigger peptides, but it's easier for the protein digestive enzymes to get in there and digest them. So you get digestion of usually around about four hours. This particular product is calcium caseinate. So it's not gonna digest over the six to eight hours that you're familiar with other casein proteins digesting, which means it's not gonna keep you as anabolic throughout the night, not gonna make you uh, wake up feeling full either. So you are gonna wake up feeling hungry, whereas sometimes you take micellar casein, you wake up, you're not hungry at all. So in terms of the effects, just keep that in mind. Not gonna digest over six to eight hours, gonna digest over, let's say, somewhere between four and five hours. Apart from that, man, the digestion is perfect. You don't have any stomach issues. You don't get none of that. Uh, what, what else can I say? It's casein protein. You know I'm a big fan of casein protein because I love to get my nighttime gains. Best time to build muscle, man. Where are you sleeping? 
that protein in there get you them nighttime gains. Guys, that is Massive Joe's raw review on the all new Gentech casein protein custard. Get yourself a tub of this stuff, man. You have to try this stuff. Delicious. Guys, that is Massive Joe's raw review and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com.